It's out of love of freshies. This is your boy, Young Seth. I'll be your local guide for today, showing you how to keep it fresh with good vibes, music, and of course, to tell. Let's go. <laughs> I'm with the boys from Tahiti. Rana. Also, how does it feel to be in Samoa for the 2019 Tatao Fest? Great, great. We love it here. We love the, the, the spirit of the, the people here. So, yeah, we're excited. And what are some of the key differences in the Tatao here in Samoa and over there in Tahiti? Well, the spirit of the Tatao is the same. Some of the shades are different. Well, the Samoan tattoo that we see, they're more uh, Like firm sharp. and strong, yeah. eh? Mm, <laughs> like myself. My freshies, if you want to know more about Tatao, then you should know about the Suluape family. They are traditional masters from right here in Samoa. At this festival, one of the OGs, Sua Suluape like Vaapetelo, announced his retirement. Well, my dad is uh, Suluape like Vaapetelo. As all Samoan family, we started from low-key lifestyle. It was only from his work and perseverance, tattooing, to bring our family to where we are now. He always, like, walked the talk, you know. Last night, he announced that he's officially retired, but in the family, I don't think he will ever be retired. <laughs> I started working with the Suluape family about uh, 11, 12 years ago, blessed to be bestowed a Sudwaka title in 2015, uh, which allows me to do the traditional work for our people back in the States. The do's and don'ts of Tatao? Uh, do ask your family's permission. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure your mom knows. Yeah, do tell your mom. Can you have a brother out? I'm trying to get a tattoo. I'm trying to think. I don't know if, should, if I should get a shark or a coconut. Um, I would go with the coconut. <laughs> coconut sharks. Have you heard of those? Yeah, they're from my village. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Keep, Keep it fresh. fresh. The Suluapa family is like their world renowned. You know, they've inspired artists like myself. I use machines. I am Samoan, but born and raised in LA, so I have a different background as far as culture and influence. You know, a little bit a little, uh, more on the urban side. I'm from Compton, so, you know, that kind of art is infused in my art. You know, I'd like to say I'm as American as Taco Bell. <laughs> Many of our traditional Tatao artists are men, but there is a new wave of women bringing their designs to the masses. I think this is the first time there's been a Samoan female Tatao artist present at a festival in Samoa. It's an honor to be here. It's an honor to be here in this space. And I think it's an important step forward for Tatao that we have more women in these spaces. It's well known in our oral history and in our pese that Tatao came from two women, Taima and Tila Fainga. So it's almost like it's come full circle. In Samoa, there are no female tattooists. Yeah, Tyler's a great inspiration, especially in a Samoan context, and exciting for those of us who aspire to be tattooists, like myself. And also to see so many female tattooists here, it's great um, exposure for Samoan people. How does it feel being here and being involved with the 2019 Tatao Festival? It's an honor. Hopefully the presence of women in, in places like this can really shine light that, especially Polynesian women, you yeah. know, you have a right to try and pursue tattooing. Freshies, I got inspired by the Tatao Festival and of course uh, Tyler's awesome work. And I thought, hey, why not get a Tatao to remember this, uh, this amazing festival? At least don't tell my mother. <laughs> Here are some tunes to keep you relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it! Hey, hey, that's the one. Let's go. My name is Chanel. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, let's turn up tonight. You feel me? Here we go. You know I thank God for the love that's holding me. There's nothing, nothing, nothing I would not feel. Come on, yeah. How are you guys enjoying the event so 
far. Um, it's actually an absolute blast. It seems so cool. I, I like. I didn't know about it until I heard it on the radio. And when I came down, I was like, damn. It was amazing. I mean, we hardly get these kind of events happening in Samoa, so it's it's great to be here tonight. I'm here to see Fiji. So can we do this Samoa? <laughs> The special thing about Samoa is um, the people and the culture. I learned um, a lot from them about sensitivity to one another and um, being caring. I know that there's, it's a trying time right now, but uh, music hills, you know, all gathering together, coming out to the show and just singing it being happy and merry, even it's just for this time. The main thing is that we're all happy tonight and everyone's having a good time, so uh, I think uh, Samoa couldn't ask for a better entertainer. Uh, I think Samoa needed this, you know, Fiji coming over, it, 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 we're all blessed to, to have his presence here. I've showed you how to keep it fresh at the Tatao Festival Samoa, but my usos and my usets, the sekiness doesn't stop there. Mm, look at that. 